Avoid this pitfall when you enter credit card payments in QuickBooks. Hey everyone, my name is Matt Holquist. I am with the QuickBooks University and I see this error done more often than not. And so I wanna alert you to it so you don't do it in your QuickBooks. Okay, so your business has a credit card and you get statements, whether they're electronic or in the mail and, or you make payments on the card during the month before you get a statement and you need to know how to enter the credit card payment in QuickBooks. All right, so here's what a lot of people do, is uh, they will not go to enter bills or they will not go to reconcile their credit card. What they will do is they will simply go either to banking and write checks and they will enter the payment. Let's say that we choose QuickBooks MasterCard and we're gonna pay 500 bucks. Uh, it's a check, there's no check number, it's electronic, so we'll put EFT in there. And then they get down here and they say, okay, account, what do, what do account do I put this to? And they'll say, okay, well, you know, most of my charges on the credit card were for office supplies, so I'm gonna put it to office supplies and 500 bucks. Or they may even choose 100 and then, you know, maybe meals, that one's not in there, but let's say uh, gas and electric utilities, 300, and then they'll round it out with uh, fuel for the vehicle. Okay, so automobile fuel, 100 bucks. So they just kind of choose, okay, well, here's what this payment represents. This is not the correct way to do this. So this happens in two situations generally. They get the credit card bill and they're making just a payment, which is not the full balance, but just a payment. In this example, 500 bucks, or it's between statements and they're just gonna send 500 bucks to their credit card to make a payment. And they will go in and they will do something like this. And this is incorrect because they're just randomly putting it to different accounts, expense accounts that they think represent on the credit card, okay? So if you are making a payment to the credit card, let me go back to the home screen here. And again, this is usually between statements. Okay, so if you're gonna make a payment to the credit card, there's two ways you wanna do this. Okay, you can go to the check register and you wanna choose your the account that this is gonna come out of. You can record it here, all right? So let's say that we say again, check number blank, EFT, the blank, or the payee is gonna be QuickBooks MasterCard. We're gonna say $500. The account that you're putting this to is the QuickBooks credit card or your credit card in your example, okay? So this is a liability account. You're making a payment on it. And by recording it this way, when you get your statement, you can go and reconcile the credit card and this payment will show up on your screen and it's also on your statement so you can check it off as matching. All right, so the proper procedure for entering credit card bills and entering credit card transactions, I've got other videos on that that you can go and watch, but you wanna make sure you do it that way every month when you get your statement so you can reconcile the credit card. And then these payments go to the credit card account, all right? So let me record this. Now, another way you can do this, let me go back to the home screen. You can go up to banking and write checks like we were on this original screen. And again, we're gonna put in EFT and just a little hint, entering it in the register like we just did and doing a check like this is the exact same thing. Okay, so it records, you know, if you go into the register and double click, it'll bring up a check just like this. And so when I'm doing this, it records it directly in the check register. So you see the account automatically came up, QuickBooks credit card, voila. That's how you enter a payment to a credit card. Now, one other way you can do this, if you prefer to do it this way, is you can go to banking, you can go to transfer funds. And you can say date 12, 15, 2023. Let's say we transferred from our checking to our credit card. And we'll say the transfer amount was $125. All right, funds transfer, okay? Because usually these are electronic payments. You hit save and close and voila, that shows a credit card payment. So.
if you are between statements and you need to know how to enter a credit card payment, put it to the credit card liability account, all right? At the end of the month, when you get your statement and you enter all the charges and you reconcile your credit card, you're going to enter a bill, you'll see that that payment, that bill goes to the credit card account when you make a payment. All right. Any questions, any comments, avoid this pitfall of putting uh, these payments to the credit card to various expense accounts. It goes against the credit card liability. Any questions, any comments, feel free to leave those below and I'll see you in the next video.